Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today is a plant story, in addition to our my plant story series. This one's on coleus, these beautiful plants here. I love coleus. Actually, coleus is how I started indoor gardening in the first place. And indoor gardening was uh, the first type of gardening I did. I was seven, it was the 1970s, and houseplants and macrame hangers could be bought just about anywhere. So I spent my allowance money on a beautiful coleus that I found in a drugstore. It was this type here, close to this type. It's kind of a, com it was a combination of this one and this one, and uh, very beautiful velvety leaves. I brought it home and I thought, okay, I hope, I hope, I hope I keep it alive. And I did keep it alive. And then I started doing some research on them, found out that they could be propagated. So then I would uh, take notes in a little notebook that I had, because this is before we could go on the computer and do all this kind of thing. So I had a notebook that I filled up with. I would look in encyclopedias and plant books and write down what to do. I started propagating them and that's how this all got started. So I have a really a fondness for coleus in general. I do often grow them from seed as well, which is really fun to do. So today, as mentioned, I'm going to tell you a little about their background besides the background with how it got me started. So the, uh, and I did, uh, backing up just a second here, I did uh, propagate, had a lot of success propagating them and uh, about uh, lots of, lots of coleuses later, I then started to branch out into new plants. So it was a really good starter plant for me as well. And it makes a lovely house plant. And actually it has been uh, doing so being a lovely house plant for many indoor gardeners over many years. It is an old Victorian um, parlor plant. Uh, I had did another video recently on parlor palm, which was also a parlor plant for in, in, in Vic, during Victorian times, and the uh, coleus was another favorite for that. So it has enjoyed a resurgence in popularity probably over about the last decade, which is very fun and very cool, even though it was it's always been big as mentioned i got it in the 1970s the plant is named by was named by carl ludwig bloom uh, he lived from 1796 to 1862. he found coleus being cultivated in the dutch colony of java uh, the origins of the plant therefore because he found it be already being cultivated are unknown um, but they do include specimens that have been found in Asia and Africa. So this coleus, the one we grow now, is, is known as a coleus hybrid, hybrid coleus. It, and, and it reflects an assemblage of hybrids from many closely related species. So it's, that's why you can find so many beautiful colors and even leaf shapes and although the leaves are similar in pattern but you'll even find different leaf shapes as you see this one's a little more rounded these are a little thinner the uh, some of the plants are extremely velvety uh, the one that i found was like that i think honestly that's what uh what uh um lured me to that plant was just the fact that it, it felt like velvet and i thought how could you grow something that is like velvet so that so you can find so many really nice plants uh, thanks to all the hybrids so they recently changed the its genus name to solionostamen and uh, that was in 1990 but <clears throat> considering the plant dates way back before it was recent so it actually belongs to the mint family and <clears throat> the family includes that family includes annuals and perennials so you can keep growing coleus indefinitely indoors which is really fun if you live in a in a climate where it does freeze the coleus will uh, die back when it gets cold so if your best bet is just to keep growing it indoors <clears throat> um, it's uh, the botanical name 
uh, for the for the uh, coleus is the Greek. It's it's the, it comes from the Greek coleus, which is K O L E O S, whereas we spell it K C O L E U S, and that meaning in Greek means sheath. So that is referring to uh, the sheath-like quality of the stamens, in the, um, which are the male portions of the coleus flower. So as mentioned, during the 1800s, coleus enjoyed a lot of popularity in Victorian England. There was a lot of excitement uh, at the various leaf sh shapes and, and colors. It actually was auctioned off for very expensive prices at times, which is really exciting for the coleus. So it is, it, like I mentioned, it had a real big heyday during that time period, but it can also have a great time in your Indoor Garden today. The, um, the, uh, it's, it's, it's collected in many different parts of the world, as mentioned, and grows in uh, more temperate climates outdoors quite a bit. So go ahead and go out there, find yourself a beautiful coleus and put it in a brightly lit area. And I will be next doing a video actually on keeping them healthy and happy indoors. So check out that. And that is that for the stupendous coleus and it's really fun history. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when we release new videos.